I'm going to go through the process here of sizing cartridge cases to fit your rifle. It's important that you size cases to fit your chamber properly. I'll detail this and how I describe what I'm doing. Start. First thing that I do, I use a case neck brush. I brush the inside of the case necks. I've got lube. In this case, I just happen to use RCBS case lube on a pad here. Roll the cases on the lube pad. This die right now is not adjusted properly for a fit to the chamber. Go through this detail. Now I'm going to size this case. Wipe the case off. Now I need to try it. Try this case in the chamber. This is a Mauser action. This is a control round feed. So it won't feed just cases without a bullet. So this is why I put the case in the bolt. Right now, as this case is sized, it's too tight. The bolt doesn't close. Okay. And I screwed my die down here. I screwed it down to the shell holder. And I backed it up about a half of a turn. The fit that I want here is some resist a little resistance on the bolt. Right now I'm going to turn the die down a little bit further. I relube the case. I run the case in here again. This time you can feel it. Bump that shoulder. Time before we couldn't feel it bump the shoulder. I'll repeat this process again. Put the case, it should hold it right in the bolt face. Guide this case in the chamber. Now, right there. There's just a little bit of feel. A little bit of feel as that bolt close. Not hard feel, just a little bit of feel. The reason that we size cases this way is because when you size a case this way, this case is not going to stretch. Cases stretch after two or three firings and it can cause a case head separation in this area of the case right here. We're avoiding this. This is the proper way to size your cases. If you go to any of the reloading manuals, they tell you to screw the die clear down to the shell holder and it's automatically fine. Well, that might be fine if everything worked out to where the case was sized properly and had some feel to fit the chamber. But that's not the situation 95% of the time. I don't want stretch cases. I don't want a problem. And the first thing that people think that they have a, a problem with their rifle, they separate cases, they think they got headspace. Well, hell yes, they got headspace. They've created the headspace by improperly adjusting a die. And you've probably done it improperly if you paid attention to a reloading manual, which they've given you poor information. This is factual information. This is what works. Now, we've sized this one case. We've got another case here. We're going to size it. And as you go down with your press handle, you can feel that case bump the shoulder in the chamber. Repeating this process again. Carefully feeding this in here. Just a little bit of feel. Not hard, but just a little bit of feel there. 
that avoids considerable problems. You separate a case, completely separate a case in your chamber, then you got to come to me to have it removed. And that isn't what we want to do. The next thing that I do to load ammunition is this is a primer pocket depth uniformer. It's basically an end mill, just mills on the end. Put that in there, cleans out the bottom of the cavity of the case. The next thing that I'll do, I'll prime cases with whatever primer that I'm going to use. And of course, I weigh powder charges using a scale, using a scale and a powder trickler. Get the desired charge weight that I want, my powder trickler, and of course load my ammunition from there and seat my bullets. I've got ammunition loaded for this particular cartridge. This is a 6.5-06 six Ackley improved. Probably one of the very, very best 6.5 caliber cartridges ever conceived from a, from a case capacity standpoint, actual performance. These rounds happen to be loaded with 120 grain Hornady GMX bullets. I find these bullets to be extremely accurate, very, very good game bullets. I've killed game to 500 yards, deer side game to 500 yards with one shot with this bullet in pretty ideal conditions. Anyway, this is what we need to do. And of course, you know, I spoke before about working up in like half grain increments, which everybody needs to do. We've already been through that process for that information. All the rest of that information, that's on another video. But I wanted to concentrate here this morning on this case sizing aspect because this is where it all starts, right here, sizing your cartridge brass to fit your chamber. You cannot properly size your cases without having your, your rifle in hand so that the cases are made to fit your chamber. I obviously got the setting that I wanted here on my die. All these dies have a lock screw right now as, as we're, we're speaking about this whole entire process I'm going to tighten this lock screw down so that I can screw that back in the press and start from there another time. But I might detail something here that after you've fired your cases a couple times they become set from repeated firing and you may have to loosen up this set screw and adjust this die down just a slight bit more because that case has become more set to fit that chamber and you might find that your case is meeting more resistance in the chamber when you close the bolt. If that's the case, you need to adjust your die. And that can be simply done. And another aspect that I do, we'll do it here right now. I've got a black marking pen. We're going to mark that die lock ring and we're going to mark the die. I'm going to mark the die and the lock ring with that mark. This gives us a reference point. When you move that die, it tells you what you've had to move that die. And you should be able to load probably your cases two or three times before you find that you need to make another adjustment. You don't need anything else. You don't need any other gimmicks or anything else. Just hands on. Loosen up your lock screw. Loosens up your lock ring. Adjust your die. Get it to that point when that's necessary and lock it down. That's basically pretty simple.